What's happening gamers? It's Roll Easy and I'm back today to clear up some complications and confusions that people are having with the current solo money glitch that we all found out about yesterday. Now, I'm going to go over everything that you might be confused about that, you know, all the stuff that's saying it's not, you know, clear enough, it's not hitting consecutively. Um, people are getting cars to disappear. I'm gonna go over all that and you know everything that you need to do to combat that All right, so before we get started make sure you like the video by hitting that blue thumbs up guys It really does help if you guys do support the video by doing that if you're new here You know what to do you got to press that subscribe button for more future videos and turn on post notifications So you can be notified about any more of this fresh and informative dope content now what you're gonna need, you're gonna need the MOC with the personal vehicle storage. You gotta have the Sultan RS, the retro custom won't work. It's gotta be the Sultan RS and you want a 10 car garage filled with as many RH8s as you wanna dupe over into Sultan RS's. Now you don't need custom plates for this whatsoever. I'm gonna be using a custom plate just to distinguish my car from the other cars, the original car from all of the duplicates. Now here are some tips right off the bat. You're gonna wanna park the MOC on a flat surface to get the animation. It seems to work better and more consistent that way. And also some little tips, if your car does disappear while doing the glitch, all you gotta do is drive a few blocks away and then request it through your MOC menu and you will get the car back. And like I said, I'm gonna be duping with the original car. Mine's gonna have the custom plate on it so that we know which one is which. And before we start each glitch, or each duplicate we're actually going to open up the internet previous to that and reason for that is it actually I realized throws off the timing sometimes when it's your first time opening up the internet so I'm going to show you guys how to actually hit this timing you know a lot better some of you guys cannot get the timing right and you just end up outside uh, you know with the car or you just end up inside you know and get kicked out of the car so we're going to go over all that okay Okay, so now we're gonna proceed to go ahead and duplicate our first car. Now, like I said in the beginning of the video, uh, in the tips, we're gonna open up our internet first just so that we can get the timing right. So open up the internet, it kind of lags a little bit, at least for me, this helped me 100% of the time. And now I'm gonna go ahead and proceed with the glitch and we're just gonna simply open up the phone when the engine starts, tap on the internet and right away flick the right trigger right after that, okay? And we're just flicking the right trigger now, we're not holding it the entire time. It does work better if you just slightly press the right trigger. So once again, don't hold it. Now, once we run back in there, you should actually see the cars on top of each other. That's what you wanna see. Sometimes it'll be glitched under to the side. This is the, the perfect result. Right now, we already know obviously that's a duplicate. So before we would actually get into the, the car on the top and we'd, you know, we'd drive that over to the garage and we'd actually transfer it. Now we're gonna end up running over to the garage and you're gonna grab one of those RH8s in that full 10 car garage that I told you to get set up with in the beginning of the video. So grab one of your RH8s, drive it out, take it over to the MOC, and when you take it over to the MOC, it's gonna ask you that, you know, if you wanna transfer the vehicle. You're gonna simply hit yes on that alert. So right here, transfer the vehicle, hit yes. We're gonna drive in there. As you can see, I get the animation. And what should happen now is the car should be glitched together or right on top of each other. Either way, it's gonna work. If they're glitched together, all you gotta do is walk by it and touch the cars and you'll see that they'll just glitch out and you know go crazy and now the R-Trade is on top. Now, I got stuck right here. If this happens to you, you can just hop into the RH8. So I pressed Y, got into the RH8, pressed Y again, and now it glitched me out the other side. So go ahead and jump into the Sultan RS and this is the car that we're actually gonna be uh, duplicating. Remember, when we transferred the RH8, it put the original car with my custom plate back in the garage. And now this one right here we drove out took the plate of the RH8. So now this is the duplicate. Now don't drive it back into your garage yet. I almost forgot right here that you need to save the car. So I'm driving back right now to the MOC and pressing right D-pad and now entering it will save the car. Now, like I said in the beginning of the video, we're going to be duping with only one of our Sultan RS's, which is the car with the custom plate that I have on it. So now that we've saved the duplicate in the MOC, we're going to go drive back to that 10 car garage. And now I'm going to transfer this car with my original. And I know which one the original is because it's where the RHA came from. And the RHA came from slot five, the closest one to us on the left right there. So I'm going to switch it with that one. And now the duplicate is in here in the 10 car garage and my original car with the custom plate is back in the MOC. So simply go back and run over to the MOC. 
Now here are four failed attempts. I'm just fast forwarding through these. It took me four times to realize that I didn't open up my internet. You gotta open up the internet before you try each dupe. It will improve the timing, I promise you. The proof is right here in this video. So that was four failed attempts. Now I'm gonna say, okay, let's do this. So I jump in the car and I'm just gonna press on the internet. Now I fully press on the internet, go ahead and back out, it's gonna kick you out of the car. Now jump in the car and watch what happens here. So open up the internet, press it, hold right, or you know, tap right trigger. So tap A, flick right trigger. Tap A, flick right trigger. PlayStation, tap X, flick R2. That's what you guys are gonna be doing. And you'll see that flickering white screen, that's what you wanna see, and go ahead and hop back into your MOC, and you're gonna see that it actually works. Every time I opened up my internet previous to doing the dupe glitch, it worked. Now you're not gonna see it right away, but check this out. I'm gonna walk a little bit towards it, and look at that, it just glitches through. So if you don't see it right away, don't worry about it. This could happen to you. And now that I got both duplicates in there, you're gonna go ahead and get out and run over to your 10 car garage. And what do you think? You're going to grab the RH8, one of the RH8s. Remember which one you just grabbed. So I just grabbed the one in slot four. This is where the original car is going to get transferred to now. So we're going to simply drive out, go to the MOC, and once again, we're going to get that menu that says, do you want to transfer the vehicle? You're going to say yes. Now, here we go. Right D-pad. Do you want to transfer? Say yes and we get the animation. So now what just happened is we transferred our original car with the custom plate on it to the garage and now the RH8 once again is glitched through the car. Now I'm not gonna make the same mistake and try to get stuck in the corner. I'm gonna go in front of the car and then touch it there. And now look where it ended up there. It ended up crazy like upside down. So <laughs> as awesome as that looks, now we gotta drive or jump into the Sultan RS and this is gonna be the car that duplicates and you know takes on the plate from the RH8 drive it out and as you can see has a number plate now and we're gonna be saving it so here we go right d-pad save the car and once it's saved in here you can simply go into it and drive back out and once again we're gonna end up going to the garage and replacing it or sorry transferring it with our original now here we go we have our number plate. This is a duplicate. It's saved already. We just have to go into this garage and transfer it. So once we get there, we're going to get the alert. It's going to ask us to transfer and remember which RH8 you took out of, or remember which RH8 you took out of the garage. We took the one in slot four. So right there, I'm going to switch with slot four. Now I have two duplicates there. That's the dupe. And my original car with the custom plate is back in my MOC. That's what you want. You want to keep duping with your original car. So I know it's, I know it's the right one because it has the custom plate. So I got smarter on the third try right here. I knew I had to open up the internet first. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the internet before I even attempt to do the glitch. There we go. I'm jumping back in my, you know, Sultan RS. Open up the internet, tap A, right trigger, all right? Tap A, right trigger. Just, you know, flick, flick, uh, you know, touch, flick, whatever you want to call it, man. It works every time if you do it this way. Open up the internet first, A, then flick, right trigger, or on PlayStation, you know, tap X, flick R2. That's what we're going to be doing. If you hold it, you know, it, it's just, it's not working as well. In the very beginning, it did work decently. And as you can see, boom, I ended up getting the perfect duplicates, the exact thing that we want to see. We want to see them stacked on top of each other. That is the perfect result. So run back to your garage. I'm going to go ahead and grab another RH8. I'm grabbing the one in slot three this time. And now we're going to end up grabbing this car, driving it back over, and we're going to end up replacing this one uh, once we get the, the alert message. And we're going to get the original car to go back into the, uh, into the garage. Now, it's become a bit repetitive, but I did want to show you guys that this can be consistent and this can be done fairly quickly. As you can see, we've duped three cars. This only took me about 15 minutes, you know, with the fast forwarding and stuff. So it doesn't take that long. Now, I just touched the car. That was it. I was able to get the, uh, you know, <laughs> I was able to get the RH8 not to land on me. Jump in your Sultan RS and go ahead and drive it out. It's going to take on the plate of that RH8. And that's it, guys. I was able to duplicate three cars just like that. It's not very difficult. If you follow these rules, opening up your internet beforehand, before actually attempting to get the timing, it will improve the timing. Will you get it 100%? Maybe not, but I'm telling you it'll improve your overall, you know, 
playability and consistency of the timing with this glitch because it's all about that initial timing. If you can get that initial timing down, you can duplicate cards very, very quickly. All right. If you guys have any other questions, you know where to put them down there in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that blue thumbs up. Subscribe to me if you're new and turn on post notifications if you want to hear or see any more of the freshest and most informative dope GTA 5 online content. My name is Roll Easy and I'm out of here, guys. Take it easy.